Okay, uh, welcome everyone to the Tuesday morning, July 28th teaching of the Keshe Foundation Spaceship Institute. And it's normally, uh, since it's Tuesday, it's normally health teaching day, but we've got who knows what kind of uh, things in line with Mr. Keshe. There's so many things going on that it's uh, difficult to say, but I'm sure he'll enlighten us as we go along here. Okay, Mr. Keshe, I think we're ready. Much. Do you have the camera picture or? Yeah, you got it there. No problem. Yes, good morning, good day to you, as usual, wherever you listen and whenever you listen to these um, teachings. Uh, this week we are at the end of the first term of the Foundation Knowledge Seekers. So we have got most of the knowledge seekers returning back home due to their flight schedules. And so we are doing a summation and adding and totally bringing the terms teaching to closure. But we cannot teach and we cannot go ahead to do what we've done without what we call the expectation for what is to bring this new technology. The expectation has been not only energy, we have enough fuel, not only uh, mobility with cars. We have enough cars. We've been driving around for tens of tens of years. Something like 85 million cars is put on the road every day, every year. Something like 80 million barrels of oil has been dug out of the ground, plus tons of coal and other things to support the energy. You see, food has been used and produced in enormous quantities. We've seen materials, is that to your approval? Perfectly honest. To the limit that we can have whatever we like in the material world. But none of these has brought us peace. None of these has brought us collaboration, cooperation as one planet one nation. What has been the reason? What has been the cause of this division? Today's teaching is about the politics of peace. Our politics of peace has been used to cause war. The stick and carrot has been we get what we want or we produce war. So peace has been the backbone of wars. You want to have peace, you give us what we like. This has been done over a thousand of years. Persian Empire, Roman Empire. We've seen from the Chinese and we've seen from Mughals. We've seen now the modern terrorists, we call it different kind of nation. They call themselves superpower, but the essence has not changed. We have changed one dictatorship with another and one empire with another. But in essence, we have not learned. Some nations have learned due time and understanding that the peace is the only alternative, the true peace. As I said continuously, Iran has never passed across its nations for 300 years because we've been an empire. We know what it means to run. We know what it means to control nations, but at the end, stability comes out of what I call happiness. Being happy to what you have does not matter who runs over the nation. But the process we've seen has been changed now. In the past hundred years, the process of peace has become murder in mass, in masses of masses of thousands of hundreds of thousands of millions for the benefit of some to acquire more. So the peace now has become a limited company. What I call limited company, it means governments and nations who their financiers support them as long as they create war. I used to be a high level businessman. I know and I've said for years, businessmen make the politicians and the politicians, once they become politicians, 
forget about the businessman who made them the politician. And then some, because of the hold on the total of what I call bank accounts, dictate the condition of the government. What this means is that financiers finance war because it makes a lot of money. Peace does not make and has not made money for men who want to be in position and in power. But war has. You've got to realize what war means. When you start a war, it's the most profitable business you could ever imagine. There is no business than war business that makes money. First of all, you make the gun, you plan it. So it's done huge. It's an organization. It's, a, it's the wars, especially of today, are well planned, immaculately carried out. When there was a British Empire, they used to plan the wars three, four, or five years ahead, 10 years ahead, 20 years ahead. They used to place their own head within the structure and bring him up, and then they start a war with the neighbors to empty what are called the reserves, whatever they needed. The present war is planned on a three to five year term. No longer. But the dividend is heavy. The return for the nations who cause war is so much that it's become so addictive to produce. We saw it in different names. Iranian Revolution, then Spring Uprising, then Arabs-Israeli Wars, then in Africa, then in different parts of the world. Because in the East, China controls and Russia controls. They cannot penetrate. Europeans and American nations create war in this region because it's so profitable. The war limited company headed by the British government and then carried out by the soldiers, the American army has become so profitable that in one move in Libya has created $140 billion of solid gold for the British government. It's the most profitable. But this is nothing. The structure is a long-term plan. You make guns. Then when you make guns, have you ever noticed how quickly these affiliated armies are dressed in a uniform, all in the same color, all drive the same car under different names? These are all pre-planned. They don't go to a shop and pick it up and they put it on. You see new armies rising, and within days, even before they are in power, they are fully uniform. So who built these uniforms? Who made these uniforms? And then the whole structure of distribution of the uniform, the structure of the gun carrying, the structure of how they plan these things so far ahead that the guys literally drop in a uniform in one more country in one uniform, and then a year later, the same guys in a different uniform are fighting in another side. So the wars of today are planned out of the greed of the man and out of the structure of what are called War Company Limited. If you were in my position over years within the government structures of different nationalities in supporting the economy of the country, you came across these people. They plan wars. They are very proud the way they plan wars. And then the ones who don't play their games, they become enemies and they use their media to attack them. We see that very clearly in the case of Gaddafi, Libya. Italian men dressed up as Arabs started the fighting, armed to the teeth by the West. And then when Gaddafi tried to defend himself, he became enemy of the nation, and then now their own people sit in the power in Libya. We've seen the same process now with Syria. Even the President's Excellency Obama said, we have armed these people, whatever name they put into it, because they couldn't get in. People of Syria don't want to change, but they want to change because if Libya had $140 billion gold reserve, Syria has over $350 billion gold reserve. 
Syria has been the center of Arab nations for centuries. Now you know why Syria attacked it all. For 350 billion rubbing off the central bank. It's much more lucrative, much more, much bigger. And as the same as, as I warned the Libyan situation, that they thought there's about 14 to 20 billion dollars of gold in central reserve. When the British got to the central bank, they found 140 million. They had planes in Tripoli airport, but it was so much more that they brought ships into the port, central bank to the port, exactly what the Hitler did, emptied the central bank. These are the same people, just changed their clothing. The people who arranged the wars of today are the same people who arranged the Second World War. No different. Limited company made a lot of money over 40 years out of the interest of what the Europeans paid for the war. As I said before, every button Americans use in their clothes, every shoe, every can, every chewing gum, every shoelace, the European paid for 40 years for the Second World War back to the British Americans and through the back door to the British monarchy. Now it's the same process. The problem is not how the wars are planned. The problem is how much greed can run and would the people stand, not the government. In the coming time, we shall see. In the coming time, we will see that the structure of peace has to go in parallel between government and nations, but just government. I can show you, deliver you documents, which has been collected over 30 years by me. How plans has been structured to destroy, to change things by different governments, by different organizations, by different religious leaders. But all, all the attacks, all the wars since early 1960s in central, Northern Africa, Middle East, has been well planned by the same company. If you look, it just changes name of the country, news, let's newspapers, and the news broadcasting media, which work for the same limited company, cover only their war, where they want it to be. We saw this, how it happened against them in Egypt. In Egypt, BBC opened a subsidiary called Al Jazeera. And Al Jazeera, because they were Arab speaking, they were paying people $50, $100 to start a fire on the tires. A few people were paid $10, $20 to stand, and they created a false war, and they created paid people to create these war conditions to change the government again. And the beauty of it was, when the Egyptian government put 20 broadcasters of Al Jazeera in prison, there are no wars in Egypt. There were no revolution in Egypt. It's all finished. 20 newspapers, 20 cameramen with a wallet of 30, 40 million paying people created a false image of war, unrest, instability. And when the 20 were put in prison, there was not. This is the way the wars in Middle East is caught. They pay people. Let me explain to you how wars, even the revolutionary slogans has done. People are hungry. People don't have no fuel. People have no energy. Most of these people earn $3, $4 if they work a day. What they do, especially in Middle East structure, that's why you see so many structure of revolution in the Middle East, is they go to the mosque. They pay, they give people a card. And this card has to be stamped in two or three points in the line where they decided that there's going to be a revolution. And what is stamped at the end of the point is the stamp that they've done the run. They go back to the mosque, they get 20 kilo of rice, 10 liter of oil, and some cheese. And now the family has food for a week or two weeks. 
So they go back again, can we have more food? So the same is done. The revolution, especially in conditions like in Iran, was planned like this by the British. That's why we lost millions. I lived through it, my family lived through it. It was just a matter of paying to do it. When I see masses on the roads, when you see masses of people creating marches, it's exactly how it's done in the Middle East. Controlled in a way by literally like you go get your social security, they stamp your book at the end of the run. If you attend it and stamp three places in three points, you get your food back in the mosque or back in the point of reference. This is what is going on. It's all false revolution. Now, a second revolution in Iran is planned. The same, another revolution in other parts of the Middle East is set up. But you've got to look what happens. Making the clothes, making the uniform, making the arms makes a lot of money. Because you invest one million in some couple of thousand dresses, clothing, uniforms, you do about 20 Japanese uh, drive driven cars, you have one million, then you start a mass, then you destroy the infrastructure to support, and then the money is made. Because now what you destroyed in the infrastructure, hundreds of billions has to be rebuilt. And if you look, they hit the industrial centers first. Which nation, which man who loves his nation, destroys the assets of the nation. Unless you've got nothing to do with the nation, you just carry out borders. In the whole the revolution in the Middle East, no one is from the nation which is born to destroy their nation. And they destroy power stations, fuel stations, central government buildings, all the necessary amenities which is needed that then the West can come and sell back to it. We've seen this exactly how Israel did in last year with Palestine. They bombed in 45 days, $13 billion of damage to Palestinians, which only Israelis can sell to them. So they bombed the created the business for them, for themselves, because Palestinians cannot import anything except to Israel. How I know, I used to export clothing, and all sorts of things to Palestine, to Israel, to Port of Haifa, and other parts of Israel. I supported heavily the down and outs of Palestinians, not for war, but because they had nothing to eat. They had no clothing on their back. I went to Israel, I went to Tel Aviv, for the, when they start making problems in shipping goods, which was supposed to go to Palestine, to the courts to show how our containers were emptied in ports that the goods cannot go to Palestine. I'm not a Muslim, I'm not a Jew, but inequality is very clear. I don't support Palestinians, I don't support my Jewish blood down in Israel. I have my first, second cousins as high-ranking officers in Israeli Navy and Army. Chief of Command, Head of Division. These are the boys, as a child, we used to play and eat and sleep in the same house. Now they're high-ranking officers in the Israeli army. I don't agree with what they do, and they know my point of view. I have the same position with the Iranians and the position they have. I have first cousins who are part of the structure of the Iranian government. But None of these brings peace. How do we carry out peace? I see the same thing now planned for East Africa and West Africa that China has spent over 20 years to develop, to nourish, to bring up that now they want to go into creating wars in Kenya and the other places. Because now it's time to get rid of Chinese, which has spent the right amount of money. They gave honestly to the nations to build them, to create peace. You got to understand the politics. I've eaten with enough, enough politicians and I've slept enough in their houses and in their villas to know the truth because once a politician has a couple of bottles of 
champagne or less, most expensive drinks, and I don't drink, they talk, and you listen. And then they tell you how they've done things, how it's done, how it's organized. I have as my closest friends, directors of World Bank. They will be in Cash Foundation, and you will meet them. They explain to us how World Bank destroys the structure of the country create war, to create an equality that only American government and their allies on the West are benefited by. If I open the documents, the documents which I carry personally, I've been involved in all the structure, it will bring a few governments down. But what is the process of peace? Why do they create war? that through war, they make a lot of money. And the whole purpose goes beyond money. It's the power hunger. You've seen this around Cash Foundation in the past few days, past few weeks. The people who tried to assassinate me in different ways, and even were prepared to come to my house in the Sansano to give me the last poison, calling themselves friends, they were now gone. They couldn't achieve it. They've gone for character assassination with different websites around the internet. Because the paymasters have to do that for them that they can have to exist. There was no problem till we exposed that they're agents and then they have to fight. People are not blind. People on the internet have started looking at the same thing. A person, a nation, a continent is all the same. To them, is irrelevant as long as they can make money. They make their agents to become as close as you can ever imagine as friends, and in between, when it's not needed, they take you out. Same with the government. I know many ex-presidents, and I know quite a few people who have saved their lives running out of the country, literally in potato sacks. All because the West has planned murders, to be the bosses. Let me explain to you something very easy. All this has come to an end. As you know, I wrote a letter of peace to His Excellency President Obama. It was delivered by the Iranians to the White House. And as you all know, we published it. President Obama, on the 24th of June, 14th of July 2014, wrote an answer back. And he knows exactly who he writes to, and he writes this, Dear Mehran, I'm not no Mehran, and I'm not doing dear to a killing president. And he signs, Barack Obama. This White House, private letter, we have published it before. As I said, I send this man, a message of peace, and in two pages of private letter, President Obama explains how he has to kill to stay a president to keep his bosses home. He brought me shame to read it. He brought me shame to receive it, but on the other hand, he's part of it. We've done the same in the past few weeks. We have finished with these murder records. We wrote again the roadmap for peace, and in the past two weeks, and in the past few days, we received through the Cash Foundation the same process in different nationality, dated again in a strange way, 24th of July, 2015, exactly one is dated 24th of July, and the other one is dated 24th of July. This comes from His Excellency President Obama. This comes from His Excellency President Vladimir Putin of Russia. As we said before, it was released unknowingly by us. His Excellency President Putin has advised, instructed the Duma, the Parliament of Russia, to take the Cash Foundation into assets of the nation and consider talking to Cash Foundation for peace. 
we see the change. We went to the president of the Western nation. He tells us how he like has to kill, has to kill. We write to the Russian leader who has been made a war machine man by the Western media. And his answer is simple. I give it to the government, to the nation to decide if they want to disarm themselves. So he has sent it to Donbass. Armand has spoken to the war official. They're on holiday till 15th of September. But meanwhile, through the Keshe Foundation supporters sending roadmap of peace to Kremlin, this time His Excellency President Putin has answered himself personally to the to the world. And when you read it, it's exactly the same pattern as my life. But he's a president and I'm a scientist. He's been made the enemy of the world by Ukraine, by the people who wanted to take Ukraine in the EU and empty the naval force of the Russia in Ukraine. There's a lot of intelligence. There's a lot of material. Russians, over decades, invested a lot of money in the port in Ukraine. And it was a free run. You could take the nation, then the next, and then the next was Central Bank of Moscow. That was the plan. But as you understand, Russians are very wise, extremely wise people. They could see through it, and we've seen how Peace has been brought in Ukraine by the wisdom of one man, President Putin. Where can we bring the change? Where, how the organization like Cash Foundation and millions of supporters around the world can bring this change? Interesting enough, I requested the Cash Foundation supporters to support. Russia to allow Russia to start the process of peace. Because if we get to Russia, as we have done, and we make sure that the Russian leadership understands the change this time is not just talk, but with the new technology, new information, new transfer of life, then we could achieve it. And interesting enough, President Putin has seen the message too. I responded to President Obama for his killing letters in words. This morning, I responded to His Excellency President Putin in writing. We do not know if we receive a message back. But interesting is, as hundreds of tens of you have written to different world leaders across the Russian border, according to what we put on the Cash Foundation Forum to support Russia with the roadmap, please. He has not answered to one person. He's answered to multiple of eight people, same time, who send a copy of road peace map to Kremlin. And with it, before this, he has sent the roadmap direction to I would like, if you want to read our letter to President Putin this morning, would you like to read it? Would you like to read the letter to President Putin this morning? I give it to Armand. Just, Marco, just don't read my telephone number at the end. Do you want the microphone? Because then you see how we operate and what we see. Father, you want me to open it? Yes. This is copy of what sits in Kremlin this morning. So you understand how we operate and what we push for.
Your Excellency President Vladimir Putin, I would like to thank you, Your Excellency, for such a prompt and their direct response to the Cash Foundation supporters' appeal to you about the implementation of the Peace Roadmap, and I invite you to, he to head the world leaders in this process. In your email, you refer to be a Russian, as Russian and the descendant of Aryans, and me as true Aryan, let us both bring our work together that as men who can bring about the elusive world peace to reality in our time. Through the implication and application of new plasma technology developed by cash foundations worldwide, at your disposal and the process of peace roadmap, roadmap explaining how easily the efforts of the true men of peace can put in action step by step, this road to peace for humanity has the opportunity to take shape through not fighting, but by one side laying down arms and, and to say that we are not prepared to play your games of dividing and making wars. Instead, by openly investing the arm finances for implication and application of new plasma technology for development of free energy, space travel, food, and so forth for the citizens for the citizens of your nation and the rest of the world. As you are aware, Your Excellency, I have received the letter to justify killing from your parallel power partner, His Excellency President Obama, in the past times. Interesting, interesting enough, the date of both letters of yours and his is about the same date as 24th of July, his of 2013 and yours of 2015, and both responses are up on the receipt of message of peace message. Both invitations were for peacemaking effort and plan and both for peacemaking effort and plan, and both were writing written by me to bring the peace through implementation of new plasma technology. Interesting enough, as men of peace, you accept peace term of the roadmap and send this to Duma for further negotiations with my foundation in how to implement the peace roadmap. In his response, His Excellency President Obama writes that why he has to kill to protect his nation and killing to be the only option. As a human, I was ashamed to read his letter as I announced in it at the times as my response. And as a human, I am proud to read your response and in further sending the process to Duma. I have challenge for you, for your excellency, President Putin, let's change the course of the humanity together as men of peace. As per your email, you had to be shown to be men of war for, for them to organize wars. And I have been under the same attacks by the agents of the same group as you referred to them in your email. My challenge to you is please to read my entry on the Cash Foundation forum about the help Russia by supporters of the Cash Foundation worldwide with peace roadmap to understand how it can be done for your nation. Please go to the Cash Foundation website and sign yourself and your nation to the World Peace Treaty that we commit ourselves to peace, not through talk, but through action. The change can start for your nation by accepting the peace roadmap and as the div dividend, dividend of peace to invest nations, 
assets in the structure of the nation and not in arms. As a man who used to work heavily in Russia and Kazakhstan for years, I invite you to take the first step in this manner to agree to lay down arms as peer peace, as peer peace roadmap one day a month and then two days a month and so on between the trusted friends and neighboring leaders like His Excellency President Nazarbayev of Kazakhstan at your common borders and let all neighbors of you to know too about this agreement that they feel they could do the same. I invite you to be with us on the Thursday uh, 13, 30 of July 2015 at 10 a.m. Central European time on international weekly live stream teaching day of Cash Foundation from Italy to confirm the understanding of roadmap by your nation and its operation between one, two or more neighboring nations of yours. Even I invite you to use your channels of contact to encourage other nations which are not your neighbors, but follow your path of peace to follow the peace roadmap. I encourage and advise you as member of the United Nations Security Council member nations, nation to take this peace roadmap to the Security Council as you did with Duma and to the floor of the United Nations General Assembly in the autumn as the new international policy and I am sure you will be supported as most of nations are tired of warm war on warm on warm on of the other members of the council and they will support you fully on the general assembly meeting of the united nations take the roadmap as the challenge of change of course for humanity and freedom from all you have complained about in your email on 24th of July of this war morning behavior of others and let us put them to shame for good. I urge you to take action in the path of peace by delivery of new technology to your people that this brings, brings new horizon for all citizens of the world. Talk has been cheap for those who have provoked war and action has been hard by those who tried to bring peace. This time I put the total new plasma technology of the Cash Foundation worldwide on the table of peace that both talk of peace and action of peace work hand in hand to create a new environment of availability of new energy, fuel, motion to space, medicine, and so forth freely at your nation's disposal. Your Excellency President Putin, let us make the peace the work of humanity and shame on the face of those who do otherwise. My direct line is telephone number, I am at disposal of the man of, of the man of peace, not by word, but by action. With greatest of gratitudes to your and your nation. Mehran Tavakoli Kesh, the director of the Kesh Foundation. Now we put the panel to the American government. Thank you very much. Now we put a challenge to the American government. His Excellency President Putin has put the roadmap, his roadmap of Cash Foundation to Doma. Let's see if His Excellency President Obama does the same with Senate Royal and Higher House. Let the nation decide the peace, not the bank accounts of the terrorists.
national terrorists, not terrorists in the borders, but terrorists who run the White House by terrorizing the others to do. Let the British government take the royal peace map to the House of Commons and the House of Lords and see if they refuse it. We know we have the support of the Chinese government on this roadmap, and in the coming time, we'll show. Let the French government do the same. Let the African nations do the same. And then we see in the next months when it's become the policy of the governments, who can refuse it. The playing game is over. The one who talk about peace will behave like peaceful men. And the ones who talk about war will carry on the same. In the coming time, the presidents of the nations become responsible if the nations produce arms and they stand for their course as criminals. I want to know which world leader will allow arms to be manufactured in their nation. We saw the deception of the Swiss play to be the peaceful peace people and they made all the arms on the mountains of Switzerland for Hitler. We all know in Western Europe and all over the world, every family paid heavily for deception of the Swiss government during the Second World War. This time, there cannot be war because it shows where it comes from, who produces it, because the plasma technology Defense technology, if it is used as arm, has a magnetic field tracking, which shows where it came from. So arms will not be able to be produced. We developed the most horrendous, destructive plasma technology for opening up the space in travel of man in deep space, not for man to kill each other, to find a new toy to kill. The reason for this, this morning presentation, is to warn the government. Now that we've seen in Philippines, in India, in China, in South America, in Africa, in Europe, different people are using different aspects of the Keshe Foundation technology in plasma in a simple way to start their cars, to create energy, to create powers, to create different kind of wood. And in the coming days, within the next 24 hours, we open a new dimension in part of the much more powerful aspect of the Keshe Foundation plasma technology. The power is so horrendous that if we let it loose and it's used the wrong way, it can create mayhem. So we have to come to peace, arrangement of the peace, disarmament in a rapid way that I can tell you one thing. The new technology which will be released will shock a lot of nations. You can deliver hundreds of thousands of megawatts of energy in a second at no cost. Production costs less than a dollar. Plasma technology, in its true essence, is opening up. The governments have a few months. Go back in England, the houses, people are used, and I know how to build the systems and are producing electricity at home without paying the government. In the Philippines, the Cash Foundation supporters now have found a way to run their cars with minimum fuel. So very soon, the way they are teaching on the internet, no one in Thailand will buy fuel as such. The process we will encourage, the sharing of a knowledge freely without patents we encourage, but has and will have a huge, a huge problem 
for nature. Peace this time will come at the cost of the government, not the national. I ask for this presentation to be done on the basis of peace because I have seen what is coming through the Keshe Foundation lab. Yesterday, me and Marco seen a small part of the furnace policy we released. On Wednesday, on Thursday presentation, we will show new tools. Very simple. Armand is making it. Marco is putting it together together. And we will show you to them is that making something. But on Thursday, we show the implication and application of this new technology, what we'll do to the world economy instantaneously. How much does it cost? One cent? To make a key? Ten cents is we want to be very expensive. The power delivered and the power. And don't forget, in all my work, I only show the foundation. It's you who will build it, develop it, and expand it. This is how I managed to get the technology through. Showing a little, people doing it, and the more people they do, the more devastating becomes for governments to control it. Now we've seen the establishment of the Cash Foundation China, done by people, for people, and they are reporting everything live, whatever they can get their hands on pictures, whatever they put up. We've seen that the Philippine Cash Foundation people develop the beads from dry leaf. And I asked them to hold back till we present it on Thursday, but they were in such a hurry that they put it on on the same day. Now everybody knows how to make guns from dry leaf. We see in the coming days the flight system. We will release the production of new materials in September. We release a numerous amount of new technologies, which even what the Keshe Foundation people had in the past two or three months become obsolete. There are two choices. We push the government to come to an agreement for a peace, or we all use the technology so freely that it forces the government to come to peace. I'll tell you what is about to happen if you do not know. If the process, the way what we are producing and what is getting developed goes on the net and people start making the way they are doing, because they are fed up paying one, two dollars, three dollars per liter for oil or the electricity. This is the hard work which is getting back to Saudi Arabia and back into the Central Bank of the United Kingdom as the backers of the total. Because if you look, most of the oil, even in America, is all done by BP in the background. British Petroleum controls the oil industry. It's the only company. And every other subsidiary is owned one way or another by them. So when you buy oil from Saudi Arabia, you're actually paying into the Central Bank of the Queen of England. What's going to happen if you've been the places I've been and you worked in the oil and the industry the way I did? When people do not buy oil, you find a lot of tankers floating because it's become routine. The robbing of the banks is done by gangsters. The robbing of people's pockets in small amounts is done on the high seas. Oil is taken out $5, $10 topside, and is sold at $120 on the high seas, changes hand like nothing till it gets to destination, or is pre-bought at cheap rate for predestination to become millions of dollars. When the 
Keshe Foundation and the teaching of the Keshe Foundation in how to run your car freely, run free energy at home, will put hundreds and thousands of super tankers and tankers on the high seas nowhere to go because there is no need for product. We've seen this when there is a rapid increase in oil prices. The tankers are still getting tanked, but they kept in the high seas. I have kept a number of super tankers at cost at high seas because there is nowhere to go for days, for weeks, for months, till you go through instability. But this time, instability is not going to change. No government can check every car on the street is fitted the way that it uses no oil. The Chinese government will support it heavily because it's got so much pollution problem in China. So what's going to happen? The problem will not sit in the nations which will stop buying the oil. The problem becomes an international problem for all humanity in the coming months. You cannot put the oil back into the ground. Super tankers on high seas are open to all sorts of elements. Now you try to bring in a few super tankers full of oil, which have nowhere to go because there are no customers to buy the oil. No power stations, no for the use at home. So you can see the scale of the problem which is building up. These super tankers leak, these super tankers go down. Fukushima will be a birthday time, happy time. Now you understand how I have infiltrated the structure of the world in a very simple way, but in a very effective way to push for world peace. We've seen what happened to Mexico with the problem with the BP in the rupturing a pipe. Now you try to handle a couple of thousand super tankers and tankers on the high seas which they sink, they lick, and they go down. You say, thank you for Fukushima. So now you can understand why the peace process is as urgent as anything else. The peace process and the dividend of the true peace through Cash Foundation technology and now the support of the Kremlin will bring one thing home. Russians don't have a problem. The oil sits on the ground. The Russians have no problem in letting other people do because they've done most of their selling through pipelines. But Saudi Arabia. North Sea and the rest are open to the elements of people rising against the governments what to do with what has been already extracted at extortion prices. So now we can understand where we are coming from. World peace is needed to find a solution, even temporarily for the oil tankers. Please. The lift and operation of what we call a spaceship program needed, the way it's used by the Iranian government and the Russians, <coughs> to put these boats out of the Earth's atmosphere. So once we do that, we work as one nation, one planet. The mess does not finish. What are we going to do with all these arms which is getting manufactured around the world for the next war? Is arms the solution? Or do we find a way to extract all the arms and put it beyond the reach of the man? We have shown, and in the coming times, Chinese have shown it in an easier way, and the others, especially is done in London, that we, are, we have managed to break through matter production, where we can create the flavor, the taste, and the matter we like, when we like, the way we like. 
does the hold on rare earth materials worth anything at the moment? Or, as we have said, the Chinese have produced gold. We have shown how to produce gold in Japan. EPCO changed water into gold. And we shall see how much gold can be robbed from every man's house. Or would the British government will plan to rob every house for whatever gold they have? The road east map has a lot of hidden enemies inside it for those who are greedy and for those who have planned an structure war. Maybe with a breakthrough of six weeks of the holidays for the Keshe Foundation teaching program, we managed to get through to the ultimate goal. I remember the opening of the United Nations General Assembly meeting in 2008 when I was in Iran. We waited anxiously to see that if His Excellency President Ahmadinejad will announce the breakthrough in plasma technology and His Eminence Ayatollah Khamenei refused the order to be done. It was a disappointment. Now I see the wisdom of His Eminence Ayatollah Khamenei's decision. We achieved late, and it could have been done a couple of days before the opening of General Assembly that Iran has achieved lift through plasma technology, but it was decided to be kept silent. That it be used for peace application, as we've seen, is being used now, the Iranian plasma technology, as a bargaining chip for Iran to have peace without war. A fake war, which was set up by the warmongering nations of the United States and British with the backing of the Israeli government. I warn Israeli nationals that you put submarines into Iran's waters, we'll make sure the parents will never see their children, and Israelis knew what we are talking about. There were attacks on Iran, threats by missiles to the nuclear power station. As we said, now we have a technology, we do not need nuclear weapons. We can send your nuclear warheads back to wherever they come. Would you like them in Washington or Tel Aviv? The message was received directly by both houses. And the only negotiating piece which is written in the agreement of 5 plus 1 with Iran, which is signed by the American separate direction, is transfer of Iranian plasma technology to the United States. You give it to us or we threaten you. But I have a very bad news, Your Excellency President Obama. You bought a dead donkey. Because now the latest plasma technology is in the hand of the people right across the world. So, do we have a choice for peace? Or do we sit down in the coming months, find out the pollution, which none of us will be able to eat fish? None of us will be able to have a clean water or clean beaches to go to. I have a snooker view. As an ex oil man, I knew. As an ex businessman on the international screen, I knew what I'm doing because I was trained to push man towards one direction peace through application of new technology where there is no greed you can have whatever you like whenever you like wherever you like at the point where you like there is a lot of questions where would the peace go no one knows does the peace means shaking hand and kissing on the table and a stabbing in the back. Can we change the greed of man from material to position of finding 
is with himself that the intellect has value and seat and the name has not. Do we need to be called your excellencies or do we are we all excellencies in serving our nations? The change is fundamental. And in a way, it took me 20 years to plan it. And I enjoy the way it's coming up. In the coming days, when we release the new technology, the way it works as one of the most powerful energy units you have ever experienced, I'll go on a six weeks holiday. It's your problem to solve. Develop it to the absolute. You will achieve lift in no time. You will achieve the true meaning of energy production out of piece of wire. And a lot of you, the ones who are around Cash Foundation, were baffled by nano layers and the ganses. But none of you ever looked at the first torch I showed you. If you were around Cash Foundation, I used to walk with a torch with nothing in it, which is light up. Now I show you the power of what's inside. I show you the way. You will build the rest. I show you the pattern. You do the rest. Would there be a need or would you allow to be abused again? Because, in fact, the technology has become so simple that Africans will have a better time with it than the Europeans. The reason for it is that the Africans will build a culture and a nature and a nation on the basis of correct application of the technology. In the West, there is so much mess that to apply the technology the correct way will create more and more mayhem and eating internally the structure of the nation. I remember when we were supposed to show the flight system in Eindhoven on the 26th of November, there were only a couple of people who knew the system was ready for flight. One was my wife, and one was their fluorescent. And strange enough, the day before flight, Belgian police raided my house, closed the system. Thank you, friend. Thank you very much for your friendship. You did not betray us. You put us in a position to produce materials that every man can have. We know very clearly how people behave around us. You look at the clothes, you look at the soul. For a long time, man has been looking for elusive flight without a fuel, for being able to travel without boundaries and borders. In the technology which the Chinese are producing as a fat boy, I will show them how they control the platform at zero cost. We will show the new technology development that baffles the plasma scientists of today how to control what is the way the universe works. I brought the message of peace. You used it to kill me. Now I give the tool of peace for you to kill yourself. If Killing is your ambition. We give you the tool of friendship. We give you the knowledge of universe. And what you do, you use it to harm each other. You'll find out this time, because your emotion, your feeling, your thoughts is magnetically connected to your system, you will kill yourself. You use it the wrong way. The system brings its balance before it touches anything else. So when you start building these new systems of energy, remember one thing. It carries your soul. 
And if you put the wrong information in it, it's a photon and the electron. You are the photon and you created the electron. And if you do not know nuclear physics the way I do, if you make a mistake in gravitational field, the electron goes back inside the photon. I've written a paper about it called interatomic fusion. So you look at it as a structure of an atom and look your thoughts as a soul that will destroy you with your own thoughts. Now, you have to decide which way you think. The peaceful way, or you use the technology the correct way. You will find the people who are men of war, now understand their own work can kill themselves, will start rejecting the technology and making all sorts of radical and make sites like FukuFoundation.com. These are agents of the Belgian government, not successful to kill physically. Now they've gone for character assassination. They will go louder and louder. And if you check the Foucault.foundation, it's the only internet that you cannot find who's the owner, where it comes from, what is the organization. I tell you what the organization says IMAC Belgium, headed by the King of Belgium, ex King of Belgium connected to the British government. So now you understand how the attacks are not set. Two Belgium agents who set it up. Because now they lost control. They tried to assassinate four times. They came, tried to come home to give poison. The last poison to kill it didn't work. Now they've gone for character assassination. But the thing is they assassinated themselves because now everybody has a technology. It's the story of, I always say, the peacock. Puts his head in the snow, he thinks nobody can see the whatever he likes, but everybody can see his backside up. And that's how he gets shot. So the problem is not with the Keshe Foundation. The problem is not with the founder of the Keshe Foundation. The problem sits now that we expose our agents of the government to become a Keshe Foundation problem. We will not respond, but we explore, we open who they are. The people who set up all these chat shows, chat talks to discredit us because they knew in the coming days we release a last, free last phase of the technology. They did us a great favor because the ones who are weak, now they found out how much they can fall in the trap of the agents of the government. So now the problem is not mine. I've given you the knowledge. In the next 48 hours, on Thursday, we release new technology. New way to look at the platform technology. It has costed the Keshe Foundation a lot of money to make sure the technology is understood in a very simple way. What you will see, will shock you, but the simplicity of it will shock you. And the way you can change the hold on your life by governments. My target is one thing, one nation, one planet, and I will achieve it in every way possible. When there is no world leader who can look after his pocket, and there is no world leader who can rape children for his pleasure. As I always said, now I will say again, if your target is to be the president and be proud to kill, leave the human race alone. I give you a full galaxy. I give you the knowledge. I build you the ship, and I'll put you where you want to be. Because a planet is too small, but the galaxy is big. Become a president of the United States, of the galaxy of Zeus, wherever you like it. If your target is raping and killing children and call yourself king and get protected by the other governments, I'll make you a lot of pleasure. I'll leave you in the galaxy where you can find no children except you abusing yourself. The problem is very easy. It's not mine anymore. The problem is yours. And the problem sits with the world leaders to find a rapid solution, first of all, for oil, which is going to be floating, where you're sinking, 
you have to work together as one. Secondly, retract all the guns which you have produced, all the weapon technology you have produced. That, I tell you something, you think the people who are in the people who have been setting up actions, how they will behave. How they change the course. How the governments will have no governing power, but people will look for one leadership. Leadership among themselves to be correct, to be conducting correct, and to make sure, for example, we don't, don't dump food in the oceans to keep the prices high. We send the food to the nations and the countries which at that moment do not have to eat. The control will come from the conscious, not from the pocket of the businessman. The control will come the way I admire Filipinos did the job. I spoke with him online, the guy explains, and within minutes is on the internet. People are producing it. But I will show you another step into it. Further on, as I always said with all my teachings, I open the door when you reach it. It's no use opening the door and leave it open when nobody uses it. When you lot reach a point of even one understanding, it means through your soul, you pass a message to the other souls to elevate to the same level. So it means I can teach the rest to you and the rest will observe, understand. And now we open another door in plasma technology and this is why the heading of the Keshe Foundation was 70 second workshop read, the point of change for humanity. Because what we are going to explain and show will change the humanity. Because you will learn a new way, but it's part of the process which you have learned, now we make it open. Peace will come at the expenses of the abusers, not the users. If you try to abuse it, we do it, you want to do it, then you pay for it. I put the system of the energy for cash foundation at a very high level, extremely high, for two reasons. Because the old man cannot build system. The poor man does not have the understanding to build the system. But as an inventor, as a producer, it's my job to make sure everyone gets the same. You pay, and I produce 10 times more. I furnish 10 more families. You should not be the only one who have a surplus money in your pocket because you managed to not to pay for electricity or for the fuel. The household, which the cost of the electricity and the fuel is the difference between the food and children going hungry is more needy than you are. So what you see with what we do, most probably the star formation, most probably the new energy systems will cost us not more than $50 now, even less. We have collected $800, so it allows us after cutting, covering costs to put 10 to 12 units freely into the nation where the system was born. You will see this. This is my way and I'll do it. I kept all on the energy production systems which are getting ordered to for one reason and one reason only. That in time when I see an order has come from the United States for an energy system, I will send 12 units into the United States, not one. One to the man he's bought and another 11 to his discretion to give to the poor and needy and not the family neighbors who are rich enough then it goes on your conscience. So when I receive 
200 order or 1,000 order from one country, you receive 10,000 pieces back. Cash Foundation is not a second Vatican. We are not here to collect. We are here to distribute. I do not allow the people who develop the technologies to suffer for the others to enjoy. I have set a structure that we bring all the wages at the highest level we can, that everybody lives a perfect life the way they see it. Some people are happy with 1,000, some people are happy with 5,000. If it's justified, we'll support. The problem is not the energy production. The problem is not the reduction in use of fuel. The problem is man's conscious with himself to be correct. I do not live a life, a hermit, just because I'm there to support humanity. I live the best life I can because I provide the best for humanity. The top end of the knowledge science every day is furnished out of this place. We have seen Professor Luzzi. He supported us to come here. We lost the most beautiful places to live in Italy. And when we got here, because he couldn't get the financial support, now he's calling everywhere to destroy the Cash Foundation because he's a financial oriented man. I bless his soul. He has to find peace with himself. It's the behavior of the man. This technology is so lucrative, it's so rich, that shows the true man. It eludes them from what they wanted. They all want to become Bill Gates. And they find that the gate is open, there is no bill to come through. Everyone gets the same. Everyone will serve the same. I learn, I teach. When I feel it's safe, I release. We've seen the same. A young Indian boy in India has produced a lot of technologies, which now we are flying him here to Italy for him to teach the youngsters, because this is the future. When I teach, the youngsters look at that old man. When a young boy teaches, they see their own age. Why didn't they understand the way he did? We send Africans to Africa to teach. We send the Chinese to China to teach. I have opened the channels to my government. If the Iranian government, through his immense Ayatollah Khamenei, decides that the Cash Foundation can be an open channel from now in Tehran, I teach in Farsi. No problem. Because they deserve it more than anyone else, because the knowledge came from the motherhood of Iran. As you know, Keshe Foundation in Iran is banned. You cannot see it. It's very interesting. The nation does not carry his back. Because of what sits in the background, was not supposed to be to protect my life here outside. And for that, I thank His Eminence Ayatollah Khamenei the office of the presidents who gave such protection for me for such a long time. But the process sits different. We will not send empty reactors to you. We send hollow reactors to you. We send the transparent. You can see the reactor is hollow, but gives you energy. You bought a dream of free energy. You didn't buy a structure. This is the beauty of it. There is a lot of talk, you will receive empty boxes. Yes, because these people knew the plasma technology is empty. They said, have you seen energy out of the sun? Can you box it? So it will be. So it shows that the agents of the Belgian government trying to decept, trying to deceive for what they knew is to come to benefit you. But all you're concerned about that in time, these transparent boxes, deliver the energy to you, deliver the food to you, will teach you how they will deliver everything you need, medicine from the same box. This is what they didn't know, they cannot frighten you off. The agents of the Belgian government and all the attacks you see on the internet supported by the Belgium themselves one answering the other one, they knew what's come but they didn't know the rest. So, they had to discredit because their wages was cut because we opened their hand. Now you know what you're going to get. In coming time, when you receive an energy reactor, 
following it, we teach you how to use the system, this hollow box of universal energy to make food, to make shelter, to make medicine. I showed you this in Eindhoven video presentation. Go back. Go back on the presentation. I opened the green box with a yellow lid. I said, the empty box of universe. Now you understand. The Belgium understood, and they knew it was coming out, so Mr. Dirk Lorenz was appointed to discredit character that it will not come out. Dirk, you were not a friend. You were the biggest enemy I kept close because I knew what you were going to do, and you showed your hand. I hope the wage packet is very good because now the whole nation knows how you operate. The whole world knows the technology is correct, and I hope a peace for your soul because that's where the problem is. You planned my assassination, and the pattern of work of John and you is exactly the same. Disperse the knowledge seekers, disperse the people who are financially supporting and making systems in China, that you could proceed to become the leader and bury the foundation. The foundation, cash foundation, is people's foundation, not yours and not your government. Write as much as you like. People have seen the color right through. You could not assassinate. Every assassination happened around you in my life. All the problems of the cash foundation was there when you appeared. You wrote the books. I wrote the books. You did the colors and the pages. You wrote the patterns because it had to be done the way I wanted it. But you were getting well paid by your payment. Character assassinations will not pay. Peace will pay. And men of peace like me, President Putin, and the others will win. We win through the heart of the people, not the writing of the Belgian government. No one can set up a website which cannot be tracked unless you're supported by government through the specific ways that nobody can track. IMAC is your paymaster and Hans Brackenier. Now we know. So write more, because you know what is about to come, but it shows the direction of the peace. People don't have time for a lot of rubbish which is written and will be written to distract the attention. On Thursday, we'll show the start of the true meaning of the power of the technology, and we'll bring people on board that we will shock you in how Cash Foundation has worked in the international scene and deliberately kept out of it. Very interesting. Very interesting. I want to explain to you something very simple. Go on the writing of the Mr. Tech Lorescence, and in one point, he refers to sharing the knowledge with Canadian. No one, even I didn't know that my knowledge, which was given to a CK to be tested, was shared with the Canadian. So Mr. Dirk Lorenzens, months later, planned my arrest in Canada because they already were sharing my knowledge with the Canadian. How did he know my knowledge was shared with the Canadian if he wasn't inside the Belgian government? In his writing, he's opened a lot of things to us. How Cash Foundation was kept on the tack in Belgium, and now in Italy is open. The enemy was set in the house next to me where the control was set. You ask your question, how do they operate? How do they set families against each other? Because this is the way to their benefit. How did anyone knew I'm going to be arrested in Canada when Belgium somehow already shared the knowledge with the Canadian, and only Mr. Dirk Lorenzen knew, and I got to know through the writing of his writing in recent past few days. So he's a highly paid, efficient agent for the Belgian government, because he knew what, how, who the knowledge was shared with, and me, no clue. And that's why I was stopped in Canada to see what more I brought from Iran that Mr. Hans and Mr. Dirk Lorenzen could not give to his government. So now you have to be wise to be man of peace. I bless his soul. I have no problem with it. But now he shows the truth. You have to be forgiving for the ones who cause you problems because it means the soul is not at peace. 
four murder attempts planned by the man who eats with you on the same table and calls himself a friend. Poisoning by the man who tells by hollow chart how you've been poisoned and now the hand is open, he's eating a food which was poisoned. Yes, I was given a poisoned food by your agent John on the table of the food with my students. That's how he knew I was poisoned by the food because he planned it. And when I survived with the Iranian intelligence telling us that I was planned to be killed by the 29th of last year, it didn't happen. As a paymaster, he had to come himself to refuse his attendance in the house. I would not have been here if that man would have come through the gate of the house. These are not allegations. He opened the book. Dr. Elia Kostova can clearly say, if she's correct, we put her on the truth line that Mr. Dirk Lorenz on the phone told him he has seen on horoscope that I've been poisoned by arsenic. As a doctor, they never thought there was anything because she was, he was happy that he achieved his aim. But Dr. Kosova, being a scientist, immediately knew the reversal and on the phone told me, take this medicine, he should do. And he saved our life. And when he realized Elia Kostova has done the job right, he wanted to come in himself to finish the job. We saw the opening of this place, how he by force got himself in, where we told there is no Belgium allowed to come in. To start the scene here, a fight, a discussion with the police to discredit the foundation. Openly, I brought him and I sat him next to me. I said, always, keep your friends close, your enemies closer. My enemy could not sit more closer than me. He wasn't a friend. We knew what he was planning. I have a very tight international security. I'm one of the most protected scientists in the world. But I chose to live a free life and my freedom disappeared. The move in this building where I bought Mr. Dirk Lorenz, I asked him to come. They were coming, they were planning to come the day after on the international opening. I called him in the day before, it was because they wanted to come in on their opening, make a scene, destroy the opening, that he could become the new leader and then dump the foundation, destroy it, that the Belgians could have the technology, share it with the British and the Canadians. But I asked him the day before, when I sat him next to me, I could see he could not do any harm. A lot of people call him, I call him friend, yes a friend in planning my death. No more. And this should be a lesson to all of you. Don't fall for the regimes which they call themselves friends and then plan war. The tool of peace has to be through technology, through sharing the way it's done. It's the most beautiful pleasure for me to see Chinese, Mexicans, Brazilians, in Taiwan, knowledge is shared automatically. No patent. No patent. Control is gone. Patent was a means of control. And now, on Thursday, we open the book. You will be shocked in what you learn and what is on the table. But don't forget, as usual, I show you the tip of the ice, iceberg. It's for you to open the rest of the iceberg and share the knowledge with the rest of humanity. This will force the governments to find a rapid solution for peace. Because the new technology in the size of less than 20 centimeter by 20 centimeter can deliver megawatts of energy into any nation. This is the true energy of the plasma. I share the knowledge freely. I live a good life. I don't need any more. And I, secondly, I don't need this physical life. It's too, too painful. So, find a peace way to achieve peace now that you understand how to produce everything. On Thursday, I show you the way you can produce any material you like. And it's for you to produce it and show it to the others. You want wood, you produce wood. You want chicken, you produce chicken. 
as much as you need when you need. If you produce too much chicken, it will rot. So it's no use producing it because it goes back again to another plant. So my appeal goes to the Chinese Cash Foundation. This afternoon we have an open teaching with you. Please show the way to the rest of the world, the way you operate. In balance, in equality, in correctness of the conduct. And the way I enjoy it is that the fat boy in the Cash Foundation China Center is on the table. Everybody can see, nothing is hidden. This is how the foundation technology is. The same we've seen with other nationalities. Cash Foundation, people supporting the foundation, knowledge for their benefit runs more or less in every nation across the universe, across this planet. So let us talk peace. I give you a very short time. Originally, I gave you 16 months till the end of next year. Now, I give you six months. Because you have no choice. The technology we release will force the governments to come to peace agreement. I will teach you again, day by day, how to apply it, how to make it powerful enough that it serves your nation, your country, your humanity, in one move. Then I want to know what you fight for. Bigger house, you can choose anywhere in the world and build your house. You had a problem in transporting materials to build your dream house. Understand the work of the plasma. You build any material you want, the shape you want, anywhere in the universe. If the problem was for Africans to take over the Washington, because now they want the balance, now we give the Africans the universe, the Washington can the state be one. So the problem is not mine anymore. The problem is for a human race to find its balance, to find its knowledge, to find its peace, and to find out who is calling himself friend, but causing war. In the coming days, in the coming months, we still carry on selling our energy system as the same. Because the back to the energy system is to give to the ones who don't have. Cash Foundation will stay clean of any allegations. I kept it that way, and I'll keep it that way. There'll be a lot of attempts on my life, there'll be a lot of attempts on my character, I'll be everything they want to say, because a true friend never writes about his friend unless he knows what he's doing to destroy, take over. You've seen a lion? When the lion takes over a bunch of lionesses, what does it do? It kills the first children of the last lion to make sure there is no sign left. This was the plan of Cash Foundation Declaration, to take over the Cash Foundation and then destroy it internally. He did it in China. And the first thing he puts, he has no money, he has nothing. He lived in the most expensive houses, in the most luxurious condition. They made sure they can control, and when they lost control, he's seen their views. This will be with every single one of you. No child should be born on the sidewalks or the pavements of India with no hope, with no water, and begging. The child in India born has the same right as a child born in Washington, in the White House, or in 10 Downing Street, the same. Life is precious at every level. So, to achieve peace, the Cash Foundation supporters have to start setting up a peace program for themselves. How they want to conduct themselves in the new environment, the peaceful way. How they share not only the knowledge, but the physicality. I saw one of the most beautiful things from Mark Nasser. He's building beads to give to the people that they can be free in different shops, that as the shopkeepers they talk, they give to the others. So the knowledge spreads in the United States very rapidly. In
time I show you how to make water from the new generation of power supply. In time, I show you how to create and move and make shelter in time of disaster. There is a lot of research is needed, but not in the matter state, in application of the fact. And with it, this will increase. There'll be open plan teaching wherever we go, which means there are no backroom discussions and patenting. In the coming months, patent will have no value because whatever is written in patent, it has to do with the matter state, not with the plasma state. Now it says, if you put such and such a thing in such an order, now you make such a thing, but in energy pack, it's got no material direction to it, so patents have no value. What's the use to write patents? Understand something very simple. I have changed the course of humanity, but for one purpose, to bring peace amongst the man, that in time we can take man out of this planet, which is not very far from destroying itself, to be destroyed according to the laws of physics in the universe. There is no difference between the death of a man when he reaches a point of maturity or old age and destruction of the solar system. Is part of the same force. We are here to save humanity that there will be sign of this life, this millions of lives of years of development in the universe. As a man dies in time, so does the solar system. They collide, they interact internally, and the time for the Earth has come through the solar system. So the ones who try to create division are the ones who can stay. The ones who create peace will facilitate, but at least if not them, the others will have the chance to survive and enjoy the beauty of the universe. So let's talk about true peace and not paper peace. Let those who are happy to kill in Syria, in Middle East, and the rest do their job. Because then when it comes to the time to travel, Time to release the soul from its physicality. There is no soul left to live. Physicality dies. One day I explained this, and in so many ways, Your Excellency President Obama, there is not much left but physicality in your opinion. And this is the same with most of the world leaders who plan, execute these kind of programs around the world. I ask you one thing. Your Excellency President Obama, submit the Royal Peace Plan to the Senate and see if they refuse. Don't work with your paymasters. Do exactly what His Excellency President Putin has done. Let the nation decide, not your private bank account. If you are Americans, if you have access to the American presidency, I have sent the Royal Peace Map directly to the White House. I know. Obama has seen it. No response. I challenge you, be a true president and support your nation and send the road peace plan to both houses and see if they refuse and with the nation behind them. I do the same with other governments. I'm not provoking war, I'm provoking peace. It's called peace roadmap. See which nation will not accept, put arms down. See, which nation will not compensate for new technology for the tools of war? You must be a maniac, you must be sadist, you must be the most crazy man on this planet. If you prefer to kill, then bring joy. And I do not think anyone in the United States sits in that category or anywhere else in the world. The challenge now goes not to humanity, but to every human, to bring peace within the structure, to bring peace within the collectiveness of serving the others. On Thursday, we open a new door. And when I open that new door, you'll be amazed how in time 
what I call the new generation of plasma scientists will have a field day in sharing knowledge openly on the internet, in giving everything they have to make sure the knowledge is served. So, the peace program has one direction. Follow the new plasma technology. Follow the road peace map. Then, will achieve what we are here for. The point is, is your greed bigger than the truth? Or is the greed of your masters is bigger than your pocket? If you have everything you want through the new technology, you will have no master. Person has a master when you need a need, and when there is no need, there is no master. Then there is peace. I made it very clear, and I'll make it more clear in coming days. We are flying people around the world to be here for Thursday presentation. There shall be no flight. People who thought they will see a flight, there shall not be. Because I show the tools of the flight. It's you who has to fly. To fly with your soul and to fly with the understanding that the peace is in hand. Then you'll find achieving in flight with your own entity, with your physicality. On Thursday, you see, we show you the deception of nations. We show you the deception of prime ministers and the government to deceive nations, organizations, and the rest. The foundation has put more financial support for Thursday presentation than it did for the opening of the institute here. Because it's important for the peace roadmap. It's important to see the new technology, and it's important to understand how your governments operate, not only by deception, but through the work deliberately to rob a nation. Then they have nothing to rob, and the peace shall be. Maybe some of you don't understand, but let me give you an example. Why we receive support from places that you think is strange. Fukushima plant was set to create the second Cuba crisis, where the missiles were put by Russians in Cuba and Kennedy want them out for the Third World War. In our test with a new development, we showed Japan was becoming a second island Cuba, threatening China and Russia. And in our test, when we confirmed it, Russian as a tank understood what we released. The same with the Chinese. They knew and they understood we are men of peace and we do not get forced and shut down by the others to suit them. So why a country like Japan needs high-grade nuclear weapon in the arsenal of power station? When we did the test as a nuclear physicist, I announced that the reactor number one has plutonium. It opened a lot of tanks in China and in Russia and neighboring countries because they understood the white has a lot of reds in it in the flag of Japan. And then Japanese knew now even the prime minister and his family are contaminated. They wanted a solution. So they came to us. And in us helping them, they destroyed other lives to cover their tracks. We open all the books in the coming time. So Peace is not the plan for Japan. War was the plan for Japan. And that's why we see the new changes in the parliament, just to bring it to the point. My question is, would we have peace between China, Japan, and Japan and Russia? I say no, because the same financiers who are financing what they call the spring uprising are financing war in the Far East between China and Russia. The 
there are a number of nuclear reactors in Japan which are loaded with plutonium. It is the responsibility of International Atomic Energy Authority to open the books and do not leave to the Americans to report to IAEA, but scientists from other parts of the world to go to Japan and test every reactor. Because if we do not control the nuclear industry of Japan, which is controlled by the United States, the war between Japan and China, Japan and Russia will be more lucrative than all the wars in the Middle East. This is the reason I call for this today's session to be the peace. Because you do not see what we see. We are open to international information which is not open to public. We see the soul of the man, not the physicality. And when, in a Fukushima paper, I clearly indicated that Japan has plutonium, reactor number one, that's why we've seen such a huge devastation, it raised alarm in Beijing and Moscow. And they knew who is the man of peace. Because I could have hidden it, made a lot of money out of it, five black male Japanese and American. But I went open with it. And then instead, Japanese blackmail got it. I will explain to you, and you will see how a four year child was used by the Americans and the Japanese for hiding the information in Teflon. You will be shocked. Then you see the true color of the White House. It's black as black ever in yet. If you can use a four year old child, you have no dignity and you have no integrity. And the motions at this level connected with the foundation does not come from a man in CIA. It comes from the man in the White House in the Oval Office. So, President Obama, I have no respect for you, but I have respect for the American nation. Deliver the road peace map to the House of Senate to the lower house and upper house, and let them decide the way the true man of peace President Putin has done. It. it is the responsibility of every American Cash Foundation to send a copy of Road Peace Map to every member of the Senate, upper house, lower house, and let them to take it across the table because the President has already failed to do it for his nation. We are not talking out of line. You've seen it. A correct president who's after peace, he lets his nation decide, and his nation submits a paper to his Senate. So we have it, we've seen it. Then he takes enough is important for him peace that writes personally what is bothering him and how he's been made a man of war. My talk was to stand down in the street. I've been the, through the corridors of your office. It's red in blood. Take the road map to the House of Commons, and then the rest of the world nation follow. I ask, as you read, President Putin, to take the road map to the floor of General Assembly, not to the Security Council. Security Council hand is literally nothing but the war machine to the benefit of the three members the United States, the United Kingdom, and Italy. Have fun. Japanese, Chinese never supported it. Russians have always walked away from wars, unless they've been cheated. So it goes on all the Keshe Foundation, all the human beings. Test your government. Send a copy of the roadmap, which is on the Cash Foundation website, to every member of the parliament and ask them to take it through. See which member refuses peace, which member opposes the roadmap to be done and forces the army of the nation to put arms down. Challenge your right. All the Italians <coughs> send the road peace map to every member of parliament and ask them to take it across the floor of the and write down 
the name of the list of the member of parliaments who have supported yes or no. And if there is anything wrong within the roadmap, let them correct it. There is nothing wrong. It only speaks about peace. Let it go through the General Council of the United Nations in October. See if any head of governments in that meeting refuses. Then we know who is a warmonger. And then let them sign the World Peace Treaty. That it means there will be no arms manufactured. We achieve peace much faster than the big plan. I release a technology beyond your imagination in coming days. I show you the way you will develop it, which will force the government. World peace has one option to be implemented. And my life is irrelevant. As I said, I choose my time and my place and the way I go. Not you do. Mr. Hans Rackenier, who is Asian, Mr. Jack Lorenzen tried it four times. It did not work. Now they went for character assassination. It will not work because people can see it now exactly what the plan was. And all the supports will come from the same plan and the same crowd. Because now they are in danger. Don't forget, there was no problem when I said the pattern was stolen. There was a problem when I opened that Mr. Dirk Lorenzen is the agent of Belgian government. This could not be done because he loses his salary, he hasn't done his job right. So he went for personal character assassination. It was nothing wrong with submitting patent. It was wrong when I opened his hand as an agent of the Belgian government, finding all my murders and everything else, looking as a friend. Character assassination became important because this way they could achieve what they want. Now, if you are a Belgian, and I love the nation, I have a son who's half Belgian. Two sons for Belgium. As Belgium, take the royal peace map to your parliament and let it decide. Challenge your nation to peace. And do not march. Do not offer resistance. Give from your soul to the soul of member of parliaments that they will sign it according to their soul, which is the royal map. There is no fight, there is no opposition. You give from your soul when you send a message, when you deliver it. In some nations, you need to do it in masses. Write it, sign it in masses, deliver it to your nation, to your parliament. A parliament cannot go against a nation will. And if the nation needs peace, with everything they receive, the nation will receive peace through its own parliament. But thank you for today. I know there's a huge task ahead, but again, my appeal goes to His Excellency President Putin. Take the road peace map in conjunction with other world leaders to the Forola General Assembly in October. And don't let us try to execute the destruction of the materials of human race in the space, like satellites and ships and the rest to show the power. If need be, I shall do. I have no hesitation. But why should I destroy as I come to develop new and fresh life? Thank you very much for your time. And we'll meet you at the Chinese session at 1.30. Any questions? We touch the life and the soul of people. What question can they ask? Too exciting, too hot. In due course, we will post the letter to His Excellency President Putin on the Cash Foundation Forum. Shall we call it a day? That sounds good, Mr. Cash. Thank you very much.
We we'll start at 1.30 with the Chinese, and we hope today is only Chinese. We won't have any health session because the Chinese have opened their new center. We will watch to enjoy them to see what new they bring for us. Thank you indeed. Thanks, Rick. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, that ends the uh, Tuesday, July 28th uh, morning session of the Cash Foundation Spaceship Institute, and we'll see folks at uh, 1.30 Central European time.